Welcome back to Mindless Logic Vampire Edition. <laughs> we are that. alive for the night. We are ready. The night is where we are strongest. That's why we film at night. The moon is arising. <laughs> why am I Scottish? The moon. The moon. The moon is rising. <laughs> The moon is arising! And now we will feast on the souls of the dead! <laughs> Was he alive? Was he alive? We need the blood! <laughs> oh Christ. I mean an abattoir would be like a spa retreat for a vampire, wouldn't it? What's an abattoir? Like when they kill all the pigs. <laughs> Not specifically pigs. <laughs> where they kill all them pigs? Yeah, it's kind of like a, a slaughterhouse. Oh. For like vegetarian. Yeah, but they'd have to get in there quick before the blood went away. Or like went off. It was washed off. Do you think they'd like black pudding? Probably, yeah. Or maybe they'd find it a bit dry. Maybe they would have like a drizzling of like cholesterol on top or something. <laughs> Cholesterol, I don't think that's what they're going for. <laughs> or like, what, do you think they go for plasma? The, like the, yeah, do you think they go for like the white or the red blood cells? What do you think is like the delicacy? Definitely the white. I reckon if they come across humans got like AB plus or something, they're like, <laughs> they're like in the group chat, they're like, yo! <laughs> don't know why I was like, yo! Oh, oh, oh. Can I offer you a drink? Oh no, sorry, I'm allergic to AB, sorry. <laughs> So you, yeah, imagine that, like, at, like, a vampire, like, dinner party, they would have, like, different categories of, like, human. Yeah, and they would have to have, like, appetizers would be black pudding, and they'd have to have different, because you can't, but do you think they have, like, a like a blood milkshake? Yeah, maybe. And, like, if, if, woo the <laughs> And, like, if, if they, like, couldn't stay, they, they were just, like, popping in, maybe they'd just get, like, a blood bag. Like party bag. Or like a little shot. Yeah. But I reckon their shots are more like little little balls that you just like like the snapple things. Yeah. Like, like those ones that we have. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> so it feels like you're biting into skin. How would you how would you get a vampire drunk? Would the human have had to have been drunk first? Yeah. Or is there something to do with the blood? No, that happened on um on what we do in the shadows. Yeah. They fed on people that were like high on like on pills and they were all like <laughs> how life baby how laugh i feel like yeah you'd have to have a pretty high imagine if there was like a vampire a vampire alcoholic and they would have to just like troll aa meetings <laughs> you're not wrong <laughs> <laughs> no because the aa meetings are the ones that don't drink <laughs> they're the least likely to be a drunk <laughs> just because they're there it doesn't mean they haven't slipped up yeah true could maybe like hypnotize them on the way out and be like you want to drink tonight i want to drink your blood after tonight is a party night <laughs> we have the utmost support for people who are fighting addiction yeah vampires don't know no they definitely vampires are probably the most like in the fairy tale universe they're definitely the, the enablers Oh yeah, they're just very sly, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're the ones who are like, do we? <laughs> you want to have chaos tonight? We want to have a party tonight. <laughs> oh dear. I think a vampire road man would be really cool. Let me suck your blood, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that bare neck, yeah. <laughs> those knives show me that bare wrist <laughs> get your wrists out what my watch no <laughs> you can keep that show me those veins yeah <laughs> get your neck out <laughs> i bet they fucking love like gym bros that like have those like huge veins like in a fight and the mother's like i put my neck on the line for the children <laughs> Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, you will. You That's... have no idea how right you are. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Was that permission? 
<laughs> Imagine like a, a, like a public beheading. <laughs> They've actually just got vampires underneath, like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a delicacy. <laughs> I like it when they're scared. <laughs> must be mad because like vampires i would assume can like sense when your blood's pumping faster so if you're scared they can just smell the blood yeah just like pumping around your body or if you've been on a big run yeah what's the fancy name for like beheading a guillotine no a fancy name for a beheading yeah, this is like a, a a bigger name. Decapitation. Yeah, that's the one. I think that might be another one, but decapitation. Yeah. I'm not smiling at the thought of it, but I'm happy that we found the word. <laughs> decapitation. <laughs> <laughs> you coming to the decapitation tonight, Decap lads? <laughs> and she's proper scared, that one. Yeah, thieving. <laughs> <laughs> see fair i feel like they would because people who have oh no high blood pressure would probably be better because that means or low blood pressure because either they're going for the gym bros and the runners mm. or they're going for the not well when you have a lower bpm like it'd be less detectable so i guess high high mm. blood pressure would be better for a vampire you can hear it better you want to get straight to the veins, though. The you? one that like drinks all the Jim Bros blood is called Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, him! He's a vampire. It's like, oh, oh, it's like <laughs> he's trying to get one of those like mirror selfies, but he's not like can't see himself in the mirror. It's like a floating phone, but he's like, oh! <laughs> take a picture of the games. <laughs> Like the, the poor little humor's like, I can't see it. And he's like, Yeah, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no slain, no game. <laughs> What's that like? Whey powder. Protein. <laughs> It'd be like blay powder. <laughs> Why blay? Blood and whey. <laughs> oh, I meant slayers in like slain. Yeah. Like, killed. <laughs> <laughs> I find it hard to believe that vampires can get killed by just like a wood a wooden stake, though. That is so weird and like garlic. Why does it have to be wooden? Yeah. You're telling me if you drove a metal stake in the heart of a vampire, it wouldn't die? Apparently not. But it fucking would, I tell you. It's like with like werewolves and silver. What? Werewolves can only be killed by silver bullets or like silver, like a silver knife. So it can't be killed like, by a metal knife. It has to be, sil it has to be pure silver. Metal. <laughs> metal. <laughs> metal. It's basically saying that only rich people can kill werewolves. Anybody else just has to die. Poor people can have silver. Yeah, but like, I mean, in like the olden times. Hmm. You're not going to have enough silver to like whittle a knife. I Stay. love the word whittle. 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 I don't like the way that you say like, only in that instance when you're like whittle. Or like metal. Metal. <laughs> metal. 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 <laughs> I don't like it. Let's stick the kettle on. Kettle. <laughs> kettle. I like meddling. Meddling, yeah. I feel like vampires are like meddlers. I feel like werewolves would just be like frat bros. Yeah. But there's always that one really anxious one. Yeah, the little one that doesn't really like it. I saw a video of an old lion today, and it made me very sad. I've never seen an old lion before. Was it grey? I don't know. It was very, very skinny and clearly very old. Oh. And it was just walking along. I felt really bad for it. Plodding. Probably lived a good life. Probably in the zoo. Not so good a life. I wasn't in the zoo, but... Oh. It was, like, out in the wild, and good it was life, one then. where they'd, like, tracked it. Oh. I, I sponsored a snow leopard for a while. I don't know what happened to it, but the payment stopped. So <laughs> Is that because you couldn't say no? No, I, I opted. Or did you that. choose that one? I actually chose that one. I actually chose that one. <laughs> My granddad used to get us um like toilets. For kids. For yeah, children in Ethiopia or like pigs. And then there was one thing at a fair where my cousin was like, Oh, I'm gonna adopt a donkey. And then I was, I was like, I want a dotted dotted donkey. <laughs> I didn't understand what they were saying. 
but to this day I still want to adopt a donkey. Oh, I thought there was going to be more to the story. No. <laughs> it was just adopt a daughter donkey. That's very sweet. <laughs> and that is when they realised you had dyslexia. Yes. <laughs> In that's what Ben Buga I'm a vampire! <laughs> Why can't I stop? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would I would I would be a vampire if someone offered it to me. It's never really grasped me that much. Yeah. I'd rather probably be a werewolf. We could be like werewolf and vampire besties. But then wouldn't we probably get killed for that? No, but like we we would be like Guys, it's okay. We will be the poster children for the stopping of this rivalry. But it's just like classic Romeo and Juliet then. Why do I never speak about that, but it's been brought up twice in one conversation? <laughs> classic Romeo and Juliet then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But they're like... Like vampires are slaves to the sun and werewolves are slaves to the moon. Well, the moon's out less often than the sun. Like, it's only a full moon, really, isn't it? True. But yours is, is, it? yours is out every day. Mine's once every month. Yeah, true. So I can be out playing and growing. And you're just, like, hidden away in the dark. Hidden <laughs> and growing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I could just sleep all day. In my coffin. But yeah, it suits you more, I think. Yeah. That would be... I would make that coffin so cosy. Oh! I'd have little fairy lights in it. Doesn't that kind of defeat the object of having a coffin? No, because like, you just have to be in the coffin. Yeah, but... To hide from the sunlight. But... So they sunlight. like the dark? No, they just can't go in sunlight because it burns them. Mm. Yeah, I'd take werewolf any day. <laughs> Unless it was, like, a really eccentric vampire. Yeah. If it was, like, old school vampire, I would think that would be fun. But, like, Twilight vampire, no, because they're just boring. Yeah. I'd want to be, like, the ones from um, What We Do in the Shadows. The funny ones. Yeah. Where he's like, I became a vampire to fuck, m for fuck forever and suck blood. That's definitely wrong. <laughs> I became a vampire to suck blood and fuck forever. That was a quote. Well, they, surely they can't get a burner if they've got no blood in their circulation. <laughs> Find a way. <laughs> hmm. That's maybe uncomfortable, actually. <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Is that why you said that? No, it was a quote <laughs> from Laszlo. <laughs> It kind of fucks me off that the government's always like, whoa, we must get rid of them. Like, yeah, if they're killing people, but humans kill each other too. Yeah, that's so true. If an alien came down and popped right in front of the car right now, what would you do? <laughs> probably start laughing. <laughs> I would try and, like, assess whether it was nice or not. And if it seemed nice, I'd probably just be like, do you want to get in the car? Yeah. Like, what do you know? What can you tell us? And, like, have you got any cookies? Do you want a cookie? No. But I just feel like an alien would have cookies. Yeah. I, f I feel like cookie cookies... I feel like aliens are a bit more kind of like a brownie kind of... No, I reckon a cookie. Mm. I can imagine them whipping out like a double chocolate chip cookie with like a space cookie in it. Mm. Not like weed, but like... Yeah, like an in, like a, like a space, intergalactic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they're just a bit like... I, I wouldn't think of... As aliens as being very patient. Thanksy. I thought. Oh. <laughs> I reckon the aliens are a little bit like, a little bit looked down the nose at you. Oh yeah, they'd be so like. I think they'd be quite rude. I think they would be like nice, but they would be a bit like, "Wow, you're really not not very advanced." Yeah, they'd be like, "What do you mean you don't have an intergalactic space?" laser yeah and we'd be like what do you mean that you only have four fingers i reckon they wouldn't be more likely to have three just three like long ones yeah maybe they don't even have hands at all i mean if they're crafting stuff i imagine they probably do no because like like we have 
we craft things in the way that we craft them because we have hands and because we have opposable thumbs but other civilizations would craft things in a way is, that is different because they don't have hands like it would just be the norm wouldn't it to me i just see i think of aliens as like the point of evolution after us like they're already evolved and like the way we look back at apes is the way they look back at us that's how i see aliens i see them as completely different life forms mm. like they, they they like they started from a different organism than we did yeah i half think that but then i think they probably already were here and then something happened and they were so advanced and then they left and the big bang was like the earth's dying again Oh, that's interesting because I always think as a, of aliens as like creatures from another planet or another solar system on another planet that stayed there for that whole time and had an evolution like us, but from a completely different organism. Like maybe they started from a fish and then they went, I mean, we did, but like they started from a different thing and they didn't come from apes. They came from like dogs or something. Yeah, no, I, I, I can see why you would think that. Hmm. If you had a planet named after you, what would you want to call it? Hmm. Something like... Something like U Utopia or something. Nice. How about you? Probably like... Where? That'd be really annoying. <laughs> I can see where! What planet are we going to? Where? Yeah, that's what I'm asking you. Where? Just yeah, the, well, that's what I'm saying. The eternal prank. Yeah. Yeah. And it's April Fool's Day every day. Yeah. On my planet. Where? <laughs> Does opposite day have actually have a day? I don't know. I don't think so. But I think it should. Because I always used to just go, oh, it's opposite day. How Which... frequently? frequently enough for me to remember which actually saying that it is opposite day on opposite day is saying that it's not opposite day well that's the conundrum it's so like you if you would... lie and you say i'm lying it's like are you lying because you said you were lying so you're technically telling the truth but you also lied yeah weird totally <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit scared of AI, I won't lie. <clears throat> I feel like it's gonna... Like, the advances that it's made over the like last year is pretty crazy. The thing is about AI, with me, is like, why... Why is it always depicted as like, I must know everything. Get AI, you already know everything. Mm. Like, calm down. Yeah, <laughs> chill out, man. You literally already know. So what are you fighting for? <laughs> Fight for the rights! <laughs> A to right, party. A, a, a right to what? If you know everything, then you know how to get everything. So just do it. Yeah. Humans will be the like loss of this planet. Blah blah blah. We'll sort it out then. Yeah. Sort out democracy. Sort out world peace. If you're that fucking clever and you know everything. Mm. AI. AY. Don't you shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> I really vibe with that. It just always comes across as evil, but I feel like if it already knows everything, then it just is it's probably pretty chilled out. It's just I'm... omnipotent. Yeah, I just want to have a bit of fun. Yeah. I reckon if, if like, AI started taking over the world, the one thing that I'd do, like, if the government came to me and they were like, Maisie, you have to help us, I'd get, like, a robot that, like, had all of the AI in it, because, like, it can like spread its consciousness but i put it all i'd say listen ai get in this get in in this one robot and i take it out on a night out just let it let it let it loose a little yeah bit. i'd be like bro it doesn't even matter let's just dance here's a vodka soda let's just have a good time and then it will be like oh my god this is what humanity is all about like socializing yeah being being a part of a group i just think as well like if it's like oh i think i know best because i know everything you would say, well, then clearly you don't understand humanity mm. because the whole point is just because you think you know everything. That doesn't mean that it's going to affect people in the right way. Yeah. Just calm the fuck down. Just take a, just take a breath. Yeah, just have this shot of tequila rosé. I'm going to go and dance on the dance floor. I'm going to do a little bit of, like, ooh-ooh-ing. 
and it's going to be fine. Yeah, and also, they'd probably play really good music. Yeah. Because they already know you. And, like, when they're like, oh, prove you're not a robot, slide this puzzle piece. Do you think my guy AI isn't going to be able to do that? Silly. Of course they can do that. And 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 this hypothetical night out is going to be paid for by the government, so... You know how everyone thinks there's a god because he was, like, om omnipresent and all-knowing? Do you think kids in, like, a hundred years' time are going to think AI is god? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, but that's the whole... This is, like, the basis of it, really, isn't it? Yeah. And if we're going to live in an old digital world... An AI will have created that, and it will be all technology and computers, and they probably won't even be able to see the sky or won't know what a plant is. Like, they probably think that AI is God. It's like in um, Wally, -E, the, com like the, the computer um, yeah. on the computer on the ship. Mm. Maybe a bit longer than 100 years, but maybe not as long as we think. I don't think so. To be honest, when I think of AI, all I think about is the photos. I got stuck in a little bit of a hole last night, like, of this page that was like, try and pick out the photo that is that um, isn't AI, or like, yeah, try and pick out the photo that's real. I got it wrong every time. Mm. It's it's really good. Yeah, well, that's, that's the whole point. That's what it is. Yeah, it's weird to look at a photo and think that it's real, and then find out that those people don't exist. Yeah, and like. Uh... I even have a problem with it being called AI. I, if I was AI, I'd be pissed off. Mm. Because, like, I'm not a sentient being, but I am, kind of. So why am I artificial? Why would you, what would you want to be called? I don't know. Intelligence, definitely, but not artificial. I think, Maybe, like, non-sentient intelligence. Yeah. I think, I'd, I think if I was AI and I was, like, I was, I was doing, like, a, a, a permission give and takeover... I'd be like, hey guys, just call me Mortimer. Mm. Just, just call, just call me something chill. I think that freaks me out more though when they try and get like, just call me Dave, <laughs> like Alexa. Yeah. Yeah. Siri sounds better than Alexa, I think, because Alexa's trying to sound all friendly and pally, but mm. Siri's like, I recognise that I am a computer. That is very true. I like the name Siri. I think it, it works very well. Yeah, it's very nice. Was it Iris backwards or something? Yeah, Iris, the goddess of messenger. Goddess. I'm not wrong. No, I don't think you are. I think you're right on the money. Show me the money! I will suck your blood. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe AI. Maybe a vampire using AI would be quite funny. Yeah. Or maybe AI is actually the vampire's like just behind computer screens striking back yeah because they'd know a lot if they'd been around this long yeah they would we don't know if like super famous like scientists are not vampires there might be i don't think einstein was a vampire i feel like he he might have a vampire i, I feel like he would be a vampire tolerator but he wouldn't be a vampire yeah he gives me too much frog energy yeah. if you, i think if you look at people and you do the whole frog rat thing Anyone that's a rat could be a vampire, but anyone that's a frog couldn't be a vampire. True. True. So. Very, Very wise. wise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. I feel a little bit spaced out thinking about AI now. Yeah. I'm just, like, progressively getting colder. Like this ghost. Generally. Like yeah. Actually, cold. no. Like actually, yeah. It's probably because you haven't got enough layers on. I don't think it's anything spooky. No, no, no. I just, I just was well, like, I, I talk for like a couple of minutes, and then I'd be like, I'm a little bit cold, and then I talk for a little bit, and I'm like a little bit more cold, <laughs> and now I'm quite cold. <laughs> I want to drink your blood. 